We're heading down to straight outs. Uh, I'm finally starting to get surfing again now that the surgery is healed. I was out of the water for about two months. So uh, pretty stoked to be able to get back and test the new water leg that I have, uh, which I haven't shown you guys yet. So I'll show you when we get down to the beach. Guys, we're at straight out this month. Got to paddle out on the across the board. Let's get it. I'm basically already in. Usually if I'm surfing here alone, I just wait until someone comes in and I ask them to grab my board for me. Just get a nice. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got me. You got it, the rest? Yeah. Okay. Just got back from the session, like one to two foot, and best session I've had since losing my lung and leg. Uh, I stood up five, six times on the board, first time standing in years, uh, you know, and a lot of that has to do with all the endurance training I've been doing through paddling on outrigger canoes and biking, and some of my new equipment. So we have my surf leg here, filled with water. <laughs> and then inside my surf booty now, because I don't have any toes on the left foot, I now have a carbon foot plate that uh, gives me some rigidity. This uh, pylon sits a bit lower than my uh, walking foot, so it's easy to get into the back and get into a tuck position. And also I have all this texture here, see? That allows me to grip on the board. And it's so nice just being able to swap this into a dry leg after a session now. I wear a sock for protection so the carbon foot plate doesn't cut me. But you can see this was my old shoe size and now, you know, no toes, it's a much smaller foot. And then inside there, you can see I have a foot plate, kind of like an insole, that's just made out of carbon, and that gives it the flexion. So yeah. And then her, oh, dueling vlogs. Oh, look at that. Yo, look at that. Vlogception. Who is that? that? Vlogception. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're about to look at the surf footage now, so check it out. All right, I'm at my friend Kirk's house, and we're about to paddle out in an OC1 canoe, each of us, and try to go fishing for some big fish, trawling the line off the canoe and just paddling. So a lot of work and a lot of skill, but he's a former North Shore lifeguard, so good waterman. We'll see what happens. <laughs> 
I'm already tired. Just, we haven't even gotten on the water yet. <laughs> oh yeah. Strong man. I know. Gotta get the water leg. And the booty. And um, the color's kind of darker, but usually you match the color of the lure to the water. So if it's like a bright, clear day, then you run a bright lure. If it's a darker day, then you run a darker lure. Okay. But guys will go the opposite too. It's whatever. Right there. Yeah. Oh, that's more stable than I thought it'd be. Okay. Yep, I'm cutting left. <laughs> They're not out of breath at all. They're just chilling. And I'm dying. <laughs> oh, we did it. <laughs> that took a lot of energy. No fish. Just try to take five slow, deep breaths. Okay. And if you don't feel like it, just get out. You don't have to force That's yourself. Kill me. It's it might. No, I'm good. just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's gonna make you feel alive. Don't even have to feel it in the right foot. Bro, oh, man. <laughs> okay. Wow, that is cold. Ultimate way to finish a fish. The sooner you get in, man. There you go. Oh, there you go. Oh my god. Whenever, whenever you want to get out, you're doing great. <laughs> you got a towel in your car I can grab for you? Nope. I'll be alright. This guy's going for the world record. Nope. Oh. Ah. There you go. Yeah, wow, what a. Ah, that's nuts. I can't even move. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Tap that out. <laughs> Good job, man. Oh, Greg, that was cold. You did it for a while, <laughs> actually. Here, here. Take some of my bottles. Ooh, Ooh, you're nice and cold. <laughs> hey, Ron's up. Yeah, Ron. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a wrap.